Okay, so we have the uh, Canon 30D set up for uh, remote firing. There's basically a few different ways you can trip the shutter. One, by actually pressing the shutter release button right here. Two, you can use the self timer and have it trip it as well. Third neat trick I like to use is another uh, the remote timer cord here. Triggering with the timer remote. Okay, overall length of the cord isn't very long. You can do uh, interval metering, you can do uh, time lapse. So I have channel 1 selected on the Seconic L358 with the remote module. So there you have it. The uh, battery and the remote module right there. So once the channel is set, just press the uh, light meter button and it fires the camera. And of course, I could also use another pocket wizard set to the same channel. This is channel 1. Channel 1. Like so. Again. I don't know if you can hear the sound or not. So that's triggering it remotely as well. Now the range on this is about a thousand feet line of sight, I think. And the uh, Sekonic L358, the range isn't as great. Still works pretty good though. So that plugs into the camera flash port. And then the other end of the cable plugs right into there. As you can see, there's got the PC and then this cord right here. Which is the pocket wizard motor cord there. So I'm going to take the uh, L358 again. There you have it. So the advantage of using the L358, you can trigger both camera and flash simultaneously, or you can trigger the flash to get your flash reading by setting the channel 1 up. So for example, I have channel 1 set for the camera, channel 2 for the uh, flash unit, which I'll set up in a second. I have the Canon 580EX2 flash plugged in to a pocket wizard here. So I have it on channel 2, set it to multi-mode, both transmit and receive. Flash can be in any mode, I usually use it in manual mode. Itself. I can trigger both camera and flash simultaneously. I'd go ahead and set this to channel 2 and then go ahead and take my light meter reading and it'll give me my reading and then I can set the camera accordingly. Once I have that set I'd go and set the meter back to channel 1. So right now it's on channel 2. Select the channel 1. Now going to be in relay mode. It's going to trigger when I press this button right here. It's going to trigger the camera, which will also send a signal to the flash telling it to fire as well simultaneously. So let's see here. See how that works? So it's both camera and flash are firing simultaneously. One more time. So that's how you're going to get your wireless with the Seconic L358 and the uh, wireless module. They're very versatile. Now I can do the same thing I had my other pocket wizard. I have another one, but I didn't bring it with me. If I had another one of these, I could do the same thing. Set that to channel 1, fire the camera and the flash, set to the channel 2, and just fire the flash alone to take the reading with my meter if I'd want. Now we're just going to test the range here. Alright, so let's test the range on the Seconic L358 with the pocket wizard module. So right here I'm about, what, 2-3 feet away? No problem. Triggered both the camera and flash. Now I'm going to walk back a few feet. Okay, I'd say we're about 20 feet. No problem, okay? And that's generally within line of sight. So we're going to go back farther. Alright, I'm back at 50 feet. Okay, I fired that time. I think it depends on the orientation of the uh, meter itself with the module facing the... Alright, since I don't have my other pocket wizard with me, I'm going to take the one off the camera, set that to the same channel as the one on the flash. I'm going to walk back and just test the range on that as well. Okay, this time I took the pocket wizard off the camera, and I'm going to use this to trigger the flash to test the overall range. 
I'm going to set the channel to channel 2, which is the same that is on the flash itself. So basically what? Um, 5 feet from it? Yeah, no problem. Okay, we're going to go back a few feet just to kind of make it interesting. So this is the 50 feet mark about right here that we had problems with triggering with the uh, L358. Well, no problem with the pocket wizard. This is line of sight, of course. Okay, we're at the 100 feet mark, which we couldn't even trigger at all with the L358. Oh, it looks like the pocket wizard's having issues too. Okay, I'm gonna redo the test. This time what I did is I oriented the uh, pocket wizard module in the up position. What I had is laying down. What, 100 feet? Okay, we're having issues again. Let's play with the antenna. Okay, so I had to have it straight up and down, 100 feet, it did trigger it. Now I have fired it from this distance, so right now it's not doing it. There it goes. Okay. That was about the 150 feet mark. So in terms of reliability, outdoors with the 580X unshielded, I'm only getting about 150, 175 if I really play with the uh, overall angle of the orientation. So there you have it. I mean, there could be other factors involved. I mean, there's metal inside the bag. We have some wirings going on here. Got the lens. Okay, that's enough of this one. I think I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes here. So that concludes our test here.